Good and Cassius Rifle TV in association with MTK Global. We're at the weigh-in for Joshua Klitschko. I'm joined by Mr. Bomb Squad himself, Deontay Wilder. All right, mate? What's up, baby? Long time no see. Long time. You done ran away from me. No, you, you're in Alabama. I'm in you done London. had a baby. You done had a baby? <laughs> Got married? No, let's None not go that. there. Let's oh, not go man. there. Let's not go Long there. <laughs> um, well, the size of the fight means that people like you are here, so you had to be here. Oh, most definitely, man. You know, I couldn't miss it. You know, I couldn't miss it. The excitement of the division. You know, heavyweight division was once in a dark place. And um, now it has a light, you know. And um, I'm thankful for that, you know, because this is my division. I'm, I'm in the heavyweight division myself. And um, to come and witness 90,000 people is, 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 is crazy, you know. Um, like I said before, and I always say, I think England has some of the best fans in the world. You know, they support boxing. And that's what we need. We need that all over the world to support boxing and be behind it no matter what, you know. And uh, I, I'm excited. I can't wait. It's almost like if I'm fighting a little bit, you know. Uh, it's just, it's, I'm, I'm so happy for both of those guys, man. And um, I just pray both of them, you know, come with full health and leave out the ring with full health because this is a dangerous, dangerous business. And I know those guys are going to get in there and fight with their heart for the entertainment of the fans, you know. And uh, with that being said, they're going to give it all they got. And... Uh, I just hope, I wish him well. Before we come on to Joshua Klitschko, there's a guy a little bit behind us, Tony Bellew, who beat David A. There's been a little bit of talk about a potential fight with you. Is that something that you think about? I would love to come over to England. I haven't been over here since, uh, what, uh, Harrison? Uh, yeah, uh, on the... Tony? Uh, what? Uh, yeah, yeah. Amir Khan so, undercard uh, when he fought Julio Diaz. Yeah. Correct. So, uh, you know, that'll be good to, uh, to come back. Um, show my face to the new fans and the, and, the, and the old fans that haven't seen me. You know, a lot of things have changed about me hair. You know, I'm a little bit more sexier. You know, and uh, you know, I would love to to come over here and uh, perform. You know, so that'll be definitely a fight that I'm interested in. You know, so any any other good fights, I'm ready. You what know you? what I mean? It's it's, it's right. about that time. You know, I, it's always seems like I'm always getting the short end of the stick. You know. But I know God got a purpose, he got a plan for me. And I know it's going to be good in the end. And I can't wait. <laughs> what do you think of Tony Bellew? Were you impressed with his win over David I, I seen, You know, I only seen half of the fight and stuff like that. So I, I, I can't really uh, judge the fight. But, you know, he's a good character, though. You know, I don't, I don't think he's, he's going to be ready for the heavyweight division. The heavyweight division brings so much power. And then when you talk about Deontay Wilder, I got the equalizer. I've, I've proved many a times, no matter what. Even even if I'm even if I'm down in rounds, you know you can never count me out because I can get you out of there in in the twelfth round in fifteen seconds on, on the clock. That's what I'm blessed with power, and you know. But uh, you know, it's exciting. It's just, it, it'll, it'll be exciting to add another person to the heavyweight division that they got a little little spunk to them, maybe a little excitement to them, and got a little hot sauce on their tongue. You called out Joseph Parker uh, via your own video recently after obviously his fight with Huey Fury fell through. Uh, what's going on with that situation? We know he's fighting on the 6th of May anyway, uh, mm -hmm. which is next week. Mm -hmm. So what's the situation regarding Parker's people? Have you been talking to them? Well, um, we'll know we'll, we'll, we'll no more after his fight, May the 6th. Um, but I think it's looking good. It didn't grew some legs now. So uh, hopefully it runs after a while. Um, it's all going to depends on Parker. What he do made the six, if he come out healthy or not, and uh, you may see a wild in Parker, who knows? Someone from Saturday night will end up with two of the belts. Mm. Parker's got one, so you want to unify. So you said there that Joshua is the ideal win for you. If that fight can, if he wins, that fight can be made between you and him. This could be a situation where all the belts are involved later on in the year, possibly. It's beautiful, you know. I've already painted out the picture. You know, I go get, I go get Parker. Get the get the other rest of the belts, uh, get the winner get the winner Klitschko Joshua, and at the end of the year or the top of the year have a big unification match. Winner takes all, bragging rights and everything, and considered the baddest man on the planet. That's, it'll be beautiful, and then start then start the rest of the year as one champion, as it once was before. You know, I, I'm so adamant about unifying the division. I think it's time. I think the heavyweight division needs it. You know, like I said, we was in a dark dark place one time before, and um, now we have a light. So. Let's let's even shine even more. Let's let the you stars. You just made shine. your head a little bit more shiny. <laughs> uh, where does Tyson Fury fit into all this? He still fits in too. You know, Fury's still undefeated, so you can't you can't cut him out. He done had a little bumps in the road, but we all do sometimes. You know, we're human, and people. I think people forget that 
let we're human as well too. You know, we're gonna make a mistake. We're gonna do crazy things, but it's it's all about the comeback part of it, huh? So uh, we, you know, I still want to fight Fury. I didn't promote all that. Me and him didn't go back and forth, and and it's real. You know, it's it's not in fake. Me and him real. We our, we express our feelings, how we feel about each other, and um and it, and it's real. I would love to to uh, have a fight with Fury. Maybe over. I would love to do that one over here as well too. You know, so hopefully he get back in shape. Um, hopefully he, he take care of himself. And, um, and, and once he do that, we'll welcome him back to the heavyweight division. We need it. You know, heavyweight division is small. It's a small family. So we need as many guys as we can, we can have. He has a few problems to overcome, and he's in training now, though. So mm. it's looking a little bit more positive than it was. Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. A lot of people think Fury crazy, which he may be. But uh, I think he's good for the heavyweight division, for sure. Because, you know, you, you only have to be born with, with the things that he say and come up with. You know, so... Uh, and for that reason, you know, I think he's good for this sport. Everybody got their different flavor that they bring to the table. And, um, and I think he bring like a lemon pepper flavor to the wings. You know, I'm like a, 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 a honey barbecue since I'm from the South, you know. And uh, everybody else fits in, you know, with, they, with their own little spice. But um, I'm excited. I'm excited about, about the heavyweight division and the state of it. And, um, and it starts with this fight right here. You know, I'm, like I said, I'm happy to be here.